Numbers and Operations, Base 10, Standards 1, 1A, and 1B. These standards all have to do with place value. Standard 1. Understand that the three digits of a three-digit number represent amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. For example, 706 equals seven hundreds, zero tens, and six ones. This table shows the digits for hundreds, tens, and ones. On the left side, under number, you will see the standard form of the numbers. The numbers 706, 342, 439. On the right side, you will see these numbers broken down into hundreds, tens, and ones. These are by place value. If we look at the second row, we see that the number 342 can be broken down to three hundreds, four tens, and two ones. One hundred can be thought of as a bundle of ten tens. This is called a hundred. If we add a zero to a number in the tens column, we get the number's value. Seven tens equals seventy. Three tens equals thirty. Four tens equals forty. Ten tens equals one hundred. However, this value will actually have a zero in the tens column and a one in the hundreds column. 14 tens is worth 140. When we look at the number 140, we will see that there is now a one in the hundreds column and a four in the tens column. Students need to understand that 10 ones equals one ten. Likewise, students also need to understand that 100 ones equals 100 and 10 tens equals 100. The numbers 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on refer to a 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the hundreds column with 0 tens and 0 ones. If we add two zeros to any number in the hundreds column, we can get its value. For instance, 8 becomes 800. 5 becomes 500, 9 becomes 900, 7 becomes 700, and 10 becomes 1000. Of course, with the number 1000, there would now be a zero as your digit in the hundreds column, 